All right. Here we have a new version of the three channel uh, multi. Yeah, let me try that again. Here we have a new version of the three channel uplink simulator. This time we're using the polyphase synthesizer block to combine the signals. So three signals going through there, conversions, modulation. Now we're resampling them down to just the bandwidth that they occupy, a 12.5 kilohertz channel. And then the polyphase synthesizer takes three of them in and makes a four channel wide thing. So 50 kilohertz wide. Then we're resampling up from 50 kilohertz to the two, actually we're down to uh, just over one um, what's my sample rate there? Is it still 2 megahertz? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sample rate's 2 megahertz. Increased buffer size for performance. And so let's play it. I removed the uh, the time display because it wasn't really showing anything. But here's our three channels with nice square edges. And on the receiver, there they are. And once again, we can switch among the channels and get the different speakers. Now, once we have the polyphase filter bank uh, in place for combining them, it's easy to combine more and more channels. So the next thing we tried was combining nine channels. So let's switch to the nine channel. This is the same thing, only there's nine here. You can't see them all off the bottom of the screen. And a 10 channel polyphase synthesizer. So I mean, one interesting thing here is that I've changed the rational resamplers so that the uh, numerator and denominator are calculated instead of entered manually. So here we go. And I've got nine signals. And on the receiver, there's the nine signals. I can switch amongst them again. Uh, that one appears to be silent. I wonder why. Let's go back to this one. It's silent. Well, that needs some, some investigating. But we have nine channels here all being transmitted in parallel. And you may hear some glitches in the audio. There seems to be some case in which the CPU is getting overloaded. So we're already reaching the point where the, uh, the flow graph can't do it all in real time. The intention is to run it all offline and, and then just play back the symbols when we're done. Notice there's a tone interfering with that channel. We've reduced the amplitude of the interfering signal by moving the radios around, and that seems to have been sufficient to cause the problem to go away.